Selvanus, welcome to the lecture series on investment management. Dear learners, today we will try to understand the concept of returns. Now, in the last session, we have understood a concept called factors to be considered while investing, under which we have studied an important factor return. Now, we have also understood that returns play an important role in judging the investments. Being the concept of return so important, a detailed understanding of this concept is very much needed. So, let us start understanding the concept of return. Every manager or every individual before they make an investment decision, they start asking a question or they want to know answer to a question that is what is the percentage of return they will be earning. If a person wants to invest some of his or her savings in an investment, he will be investing only after knowing what is the amount of return he will be earning on his or her investments. So, return is also called return on investments. It is the amount of money you receive from an investment. So, whatever the money you receive on your principal investments that is called basically return. The return is often calculated as a percentage or ratio of the original investment so that managers can measure and compare how well their investments are performing. See, a return in an industry scenario is expressed in percentages or ratios. A manager will consider percentage or ratio return to make his or her investment decisions. But in case of general individuals, the amount is considered to make investment decisions. But in industry, widely they use the percentage or ratio to make investment decisions. They ask for the rate of return or percentage of return or ratio of return when they want to make an investment decision or to compare how well their investments are performing. So, let us understand the, con the uh, types of returns. Before that, let me tell you, managers use various financial ratios like the return on assets, return on equity and even the return on inventory to measure how well their investments are doing. See, these are indicators of return, like there are tools used to know the percentage of return, like we have tools such as return on assets, return on equity and uh, return on inventory. By knowing this, people judge or managers judge or they make investment decisions. Now, the returns may be defined in terms of realized returns and expected returns. Let us see one by one what does uh, these terms mean. Realized return. It refers to returns which has been earned. See, when we talk about realized returns, these are returns which have already earned, which have already been realized. So, these realized returns in the past allow an investor to estimate cash inflows in terms of dividends, interest, bonus, capital gains, etc available to the holder of the investments. See, we know very well by seeing the past, we can predict the future. So, 
the returns which we have earned or realized in the earlier period it is a good source to predict or good it forms a good base to predict future so realized returns in the past allow us or an investor to estimate cash flows in the future now let us see what does expected return mean expected returns or the returns which you predict is called expected return it is the investor what the investor anticipates to earn over some future investment period these are purely based on predictions that is the amount or the return what you expect to receive in the near future say suppose at the end of this year but you should remember always in case of expected return you will receive or you predict what you receive in the future and the future is always uncertain that means it may or may not happen let us understand two other terms that is which are similar to realized and uh, expected um, uh, returns that is ex ante return and ex post returns now ex ante is uh, something a latin word which means before the event it is the estimated return that investors can expect to earn from an investment or the earnings that a company can expect to earn at the end of a specific period now in simple terms if you want to define ex ante returns it is the prediction of an event before it actually happens and the actual outcome is uncertain something just like uh, expected returns coming to ex post returns ex post is a latin word that means after the event investment companies use the concept to forecast the expected returns of a security based on the actual or historical returns earned by the security this is something like realized returns unlike ex ante ex post represents the actual results attained by the company which is the return earned by the company's investors now what are the key takeaways from this when the predicted event x and that is x ante occurs analysts can compare the actual outcome that is exposed and the predicted outcome to see how accurate the prediction was now the difference between the two outcomes can provide additional insights on how to streamline the prediction process to make it near accurate so this is what is all about the concept of returns now i hope you understood the concept of return very well but let us sum up what we have learned before we about it for today we have started understanding the concept of return we have learned the expected return and the realized return ex ante return and ex post return so that's all for today last but not the least i would like to ask request you people to subscribe to the channel ashvi management classes press the bell icon so that you get the notifications whenever a lecture is released on the channel we will be coming up with the next lecture soon till then see you good day goodbye